Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Better Biomed. Uh, excuse me if this video lingers a little bit. I'm I'm on painkillers because my my foot is extremely painful because I I tore my calf muscle. As some of you found out earlier this week, but uh, I'm making this video because I've I've gotten many questions and comments about um, 1099 work and the liabilities and. and whatnot and I, I just wanted to clarify something because I, I think a lot of you guys are actually missing the mark um, when it comes to liability yes liability insurance is absolutely nice and you as a technician even if you work for a hospital you can get liability insurance I don't know anybody that does but uh, maybe if you're working on life support devices it's something to consider because regardless of whether or not you work for an OEM or ISO or independent contractor 1099, you can be directly sued because of your work. If, if it's fraudulent, if it's faulty, if you do not follow manufacturer specifications, you can and probably will be sued if there's ever a patient incident and they can track it back to you. Now guys, um, I don't know how you feel about that, but it's the truth and you should be aware of that. And it's something that medical care providers and nurses have been aware of for a long, long time. Whether or not they even touched a patient, the fact that they're even on a floor when a certain incident happens, they can and will be sued. And the same thing absolutely can happen to us. It is something that anybody that is working in a patient care environment can be affected by. Now, does that mean that there's more liability for a 1099? Maybe a little bit, yes. But that's why we document everything. That's why we are very thorough. And if a manufacturer has a checklist, we'd be sure to use the manufacturer's checklist and follow those specifications. Now, if you are using test equipment that is out of its calibration date, if you are not following the manufacturer's specifications and you do not document things correctly, you can expect that your liability for getting sued goes up exponentially. So guys, when it comes to being a 1099 versus an in-house biomed or an OEM or whatever, you can be directly sued based on your own work. It has always been that way. And the fact of the matter is, is that's just part of the life that we live. So that's why we do our absolute best to do the very best, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe and document your stuff correctly.